got an unboxing today and I am super stoked. One, as um, well, I've ordered quite a few things recently. And uh, in all honesty, I have no idea what's inside this. So it's gonna be an adventure for all of us. Let's go ahead and knock this out. See what's inside here. This package comes from the cubicle, not a sponsor. Maybe someday, that would be pretty cool. I love the cubicle and their products, their customer service is also very, very amazing. Let's see what we've got in here today. This is a pretty heavy package, a pretty standard size package though from the cubicle. If you're ordering several things at once. So let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, okay. Okay guys, this is gonna be actually pretty epic. So we'll do one thing at a time. Uh, yeah, okay, let's we'll start with this one. So in here, um, this is a puzzle I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Now, um, as you guys can see, just from the packaging, this is a Calvin's, um, it's an icosahedron puzzle. Now, okay, some of you might be asking, uh, what's an icosahedron and why does it matter? Well, the icosahedron is the largest of the platonic solids, which is a set of puzzles that I have been wanting to obtain for a long time. So there's a cube, a tetrahedron, dodecahedron, uh, octahedron, and an icosahedron. An icosahedron is a 20-sided solid. So I am very excited to complete my platonic solids collection getting this thing on, on out of its confinement. Jeez Louise. Man, so they did not waste any tape on this puzzle. Or whoever did this, my god. Good knife techniques. So never cut towards yourself. Very important. Okay, wow, we are finally almost there. Almost two minutes of taking this out of tape and plastic. My goodness. There. Oh, finally. It is free of its confines. And wow, is this thing dense and heavy. I can only imagine what this weighs. So, how this puzzle works is it is a face, it is a corner turning icosahedron. There are several different types of icosahedron puzzles, but this is the one I wanted the most just because of the, the way it looks. I just think it looks really nice. So how this puzzle turns is it turns on all these little corner sections like this, um, but it also turns these large faces too. So you can actually change the uh, color orientation of this puzzle. So like, if you wanna kind of mess around with it, you can actually kind of pick your own color scheme, which is really cool. But um, yeah, 20-sided puzzle, icosahedron, Calvin's puzzle. Um, it's a little bit more on the expensive side. It's about 60 bucks at the cubicle, but absolutely fantastic. It actually turns so much better than I was expecting. I cannot wait to scramble this up. I'll make a post here soon about it being scrambled and I'll solve it and kind of let you guys know what I think about it. But yeah, that is the Calvin's Icosahedron face turning puzzle. Super, super cool. Definitely I could probably use a little bit of lube, but um, anyway, yeah, that completes my uh, collection of platonic solids. So let's go ahead and move on to the next puzzle, which I am super, super excited about. <sighs> oh my goodness, guys, it's all coming together. So for those of you who order puzzles from this brand, you might already know what this is, or at least have some sort of an idea of what this might be, but my goodness, I am so excited to open this. Oh, baby. Okay, so right here, we've got some extra stickers, it looks like, and there it is. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, baby. So what this is, <laughs> uh, for those of you who are unaware of what this is, this is a five by five ghost cube. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so big. I knew it was gonna be really big because the four by four was absolutely gigantic. Um, the reason for it being as big as it is is because it is made 
um, with 3D printed extensions. So the core puzzle is just whatever five by five they use. Now, the problem that immediately comes when you order a puzzle like this is because it's 3D printed and you have all these extensions glued on is occasionally you will have some, some uh, pieces that are accidentally a little bit glued together. So um, if you do order a puzzle like this um, from the cubicle, what you'll want to do is uh, when you get all the layers aligned at, in ghost cube fashion, you will want to uh, kind of just kind of turn all the layers, make sure nothing's stuck together. Because I had that problem with the 4x4, and, event, and it, at first I thought there was an issue with it, but it turned out that some pieces were just accidentally stuck together. So that's something to think about. So, my goodness, guys. Okay, so that icosahedron is a huge puzzle, and this puzzle is noticeably bigger. Let me grab a 3x3 three three that I have right here. Yeah, just to just for reference, um, this is this is a standard 3x3. Three three. This is a uh, GAN 11M Pro. For those of you who have this puzzle or any GAN puzzles, you know relatively how big this puzzle is. And um, yeah, up next to this puzzle, it is teeny, teeny tiny. Like, my god. That is crazy. Let me compare it to my 4x4 ghost cube. All right, so here it is next to the 4x4 ghost cube, which again, it's a pretty large puzzle, but my goodness, this 5x5 ghost cube is absolutely gigantic. Um, I think the only thing that I don't, I mean, I absolutely am in love with ghost cubes. Ghost cubes are my hands down my favorite puzzles that exist. I, I don't necessarily try to find all the different limited edition versions, but what I do, it, my goal is to have all of the end by ends and any shape modifications of cuboids that are ghosted, I try to have as well. Um, Cause I know that, I know there's a lot of people out there who like to have all the different colored ghost cubes, which I think are super cool, but man, these end by end puzzles, holy crap. So intimidating, so cool looking. And my goodness, there are some stickers that probably need to go there, but they're long gone. Luckily I have, um, replacements because um, sometimes these puzzles that have really obscure uh, patterns on their pieces, um, the stickers can sometimes uh, fall off, which is fine. It's not a big deal, um, especially like these little teeny tiny ones. I mean, these are really tiny. So, but yeah, yeah, guys, super, super stoked. Holy crap. This is going to be such an insane solve. Um, I will eventually post a picture of it scrambled, but my goodness, this thing is so crazy. So I'll just do a quick rundown of what a ghost cube is for those of you who may not be familiar. So a ghost cube is just a, a shape modification of a standard N by N puzzle. In this case, um, this is a five by five, if you can imagine. So right here, if you look directly head on here, these are your centers. These are your edges, and these pieces on the outsides are your corners, similar to a 5x5, where you have your 3x3 three three center, there's your 3x3 three three center, and then your edges and corners around it. And then this is a layer. So how, this, uh, how the rest of this works is you will have, so as you can see, um, these lines don't all line up. So how you will line it up is you align these layers just like this, and this is how you will scramble the rest of the layers. And yeah, as you can see, you can start to turn these and it gets scrambled up very, very quickly. It does not take much to scramble a ghost cube, especially one that is a higher order ghost cube such as this. It's gonna be a very difficult solve. It'll probably take me a very good chunk of time to get it solved, but I cannot wait. I am super duper looking forward to the challenge of this puzzle. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, stay tuned for some more posts on these puzzles. And uh, yeah, you can get both of these at the cubicle. I'd just like to thank them for sending these super quickly and super fast. Uh, you know, they arrived way earlier than I was expecting, which is absolutely amazing. So otherwise, yeah, see you guys in the next one.